Hi, Chris here. In today's video I want to show you my portable and lightweight camera setup for shooting 4K videos outside the studio. It can be used for vlogging like I'm doing right now or for filming stabilized videos as I will show you later in the video. It's very lightweight, it weighs about 1400 grams with the external battery attached. Let's take a look at the different components. The camera I use is the Sony RX100 Mark 7 that can film in 4K for an extended period of time if you change the auto power off setting to high. The camera has a small battery and in order to swap out the battery you would have to unmount it from the quick release plate and then rebalance the camera on the gimbal after you inserted a new battery. So to not have to interrupt a video session I connected the camera to an external power bank. For this you have to mount the camera in the long slot of the quick release plate so that you can gain enough space on the right side to plug in the cables. Here I also connect the cable of the microphone. As an external microphone I use the video micro from Rode with the included windshield. The gimbal itself is the Crane M2 from Scion. For connecting the microphone to the gimbal I use a quarter inch to quarter inch screw adapter and the code shoe adapter that came with the camera flash bracket. The code shoe adapter allows me to swap the direction where the microphone is facing. So in selfie mode you turn it towards you and if you are filming something else in front of you, you just turn it around. Also it keeps the microphone at the distance to the gimbal so that the camera can still turn around the vertical axis. The bracket I use at the bottom of the Crane M2 to attach the external battery. The battery is held by the smartphone adapter that came with the Crane M2. This way I am able to feed the battery power to the camera and the gimbal at the same time. As a battery I use a power bank with two USB connectors. If I need to charge the battery I can connect it via micro USB cable while everything stays mounted and gets charged at the same time. On the front of the camera I use the Mac filter adapter ring to connect a ND filter. When you want the setup to be even more lightweight you can take off the bracket and use it without the battery and the cables. Then it would weigh a little bit less than 1000 grams but of course you would run out of battery sooner. Now let me show you some sample footage I shot with the fully assembled camera setup. So that's my camera setup. If you have any ideas on how to improve it, please let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please leave me a like. For more videos like this, subscribe and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.